What's up guys, welcome back to Earthbeat. I have here a Google Pixel 7 Pro. As you can see, the screen is completely damaged. There is no crack on the screen, but the panels are already destroyed. If I say Pixel 7 Pro, everything in this video applies also to the Pixel 6 Pro. The main issue with the screen replacement on a Google Pixel is the fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor on this device is fragile and you need to remove it and transfer it on the new screen. I heated the front of the device with a heating pad for 5 minutes. I then used a suction cup to start applying a little bit of force. As you can see, the screen is slowly getting separated at the bottom of the device. Once you have a small opening, you can insert your guitar pick at the bottom of the device. If you are using a heat gun, you're going to heat the front of the device for less than 1 minute using the highest setting on your heat gun. Again, whenever you found some resistance, try to apply some heat again to the phone and it is going to be easy. After a quick heating of the screen, I inserted my second guitar pick and started to run it on the right side of the device in order to completely separate the right side of the screen and the body of the device. Again, quick heating on the left side of the device. If you have a heat gun, it is going to be exactly the same thing. Whenever you move from the right to the left, you need to reheat that area a little bit and then insert your guitar pick and do the complete separation of that side. On the left side of the device, we do have the screen flex cable there. If you damage the screen flex cable, it is not going to impact your device since we are going to replace the screen completely. Here you have it, the device is completely open now. You can see the flex cable of the screen. We need to remove the retaining plate on top of the flex cable. You need to go to the side where you have the small area to pull it and you're going to remove that retaining plate. Once the retaining plate is completely out, you just need to pull the screen firmly while holding the screen flex cable. I will have turned the device off but the screen is unresponsive and I cannot do anything with this screen. The first part is done. The second part is the removal of the fingerprint sensor. We need to pull the little tab at the bottom of the fingerprint sensor flex cable. If you pull it upward, it's gonna go at an angle of 90 degree and then you need to pull the fingerprint sensor flex cable. I'm using a tweezer to remove the fingerprint sensor flex cable but you can do it by hand it is going to work. Just make sure that you do not apply too much force in order to not damage it. Next we are going to hit the front of the device in order to soften the double sided tape on the back of the fingerprint sensor flex cable. You can pull by hand but I found that this is the best way to remove it without damaging anything. Use a flat metal tool to go under the fingerprint sensor flex cable and the screen and after that you just need to push while going toward the end where we have the fingerprint sensor. I decided to stop using the metal tool and try to pull by hand because I didn't want the metal tool to go too near the fingerprint sensor. So while doing this make sure that you do not pull hard all the way to the fingerprint sensor because you might crack the fingerprint sensor and lose it. So when I knew all the flex cable were already disconnected from the screen I grabbed the flex cable by hand and tried to pull it right and left. So at this moment I wasn't pulling hard and I knew that it needed to be reheated again so I went back to the hot plate and after that I started again to pull right and left I'm not pulling directly toward me but I'm just pulling on the horizontal this is the best way to remove it without getting it damaged I didn't use alcohol because I don't know the consequence of using alcohol on this fingerprint sensor if you use alcohol it's gonna go obviously under the fingerprint sensor and touch the actual sensor and it might leave some stains which is never good for an optical image sensor. Here also always go back to the hot plate if you found some resistance. One side of the fingerprint sensor is completely free and we just need to remove the other side and as you can see the fingerprint sensor is completely out of the screen and you can see there is nothing on the fingerprint sensor. It is clean and it is ready to be used again. The small square that you see in the middle is made out of glass. If you pull it in the wrong way it can crack and you will lose your fingerprint sensor and might have to buy another one. It is time to install the new screen on the device but before we do that we need to inspect the new screen and after that install the fingerprint sensor. I saw a small stain on this fingerprint sensor area it looks like double sided tape. This screen might have been used for testing a fingerprint sensor before they send it to me. I will not be cleaning it and just installing the fingerprint sensor to avoid any other things getting into that area. The installation of the fingerprint sensor is easy. Try to place it in the same area where you remove it from the old screen and as you can see I've done a good job in the placement of the fingerprint sensor. So I just placed the fingerprint sensor on that area. I didn't press it in just to look at all the angles and make sure that it is 
in the correct position it looks good to me i still didn't apply any force on it i will try to connect the fingerprint flex cable first and after that i will start to apply some pressure on the cable and then add the fingerprint sensor everything is in place i just applied a little bit of pressure on the whole fingerprint sensor and after that we need to test the screen and make sure that the fingerprint sensor is working and everything is good before we seal the device i'm reconnecting the flex cable of the new screen onto the motherboard and after that just turn on the device to see if the screen is good the device turned on in the most normal way after that i tried a few touch to see the responsiveness of the screen everything looks good in the responsiveness of the screen and then we need to test the fingerprint sensor to make sure that it is working the fact that we access the fingerprint sensor setting means that the fingerprint sensor is in good working condition and it is registering my fingers which is a good thing during my teardown of the pixel 6 when i swapped two screens the fingerprint sensor stopped working because of compatibility issues since this is the same fingerprint sensor that was on the device the compatibility issues might still be happening but only with a different fingerprint sensor the screen of this pixel 7 pro didn't come with some double-sided tape instead they provided this small b7000 to use i will not be using their b7000 i'm going to use my big b7000 which is already open and ready to use make sure that you do not forget to add the retaining plate after you add the b7000 and the screen is connected i added a small layer of b7000 on all four corners of this device right left top and bottom after that i installed the screen flex cable proceed in the installation of the retaining plate and then close the device altogether. after closing the device you need to apply some force on all four corners of the device you're going to hear some clicks at that moment the screen is sealed but we need to apply some constant pressure on the screen in order to do that i'm going to use this small tool that is going to apply some pressure for 15 minutes and after those 15 minutes the device is ready links to all the tools will be in the description see you next time